Agriculture was the first occupation of man. Many towns, cities and civilizations grew around centers of agricultural production. Early people domesticated the wild variety of plants to grow food crops like barley, pea, lentils, flax and wheat. In the beginning, they did not practice settled agriculture. Agriculture is an economic activity. The economic activities are grouped into four main categories, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Agriculture, types of farming, commercial crops and agricultural development. Agriculture Agriculture was the first occupation of man. Many towns, cities and civilizations grew around centers of agricultural production. Early people domesticated the wild variety of plants to grow food crops like barley, peas, lentils, flax and wheat. In the beginning, they did not practice settled agriculture. Later, people learned to cultivate the same plot of land year after year. It became possible only when favorable conditions existed for settled agriculture. Agriculture is still the widely practiced occupation of about 50% of the world's working population. Economic Activities Agriculture is an economic activity. The economic activities are grouped into four main categories, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. Agriculture and all other activities like poultry farming, domestication of cattle, horticulture and other types of activities are called primary activities. Secondary activities are concerned with the processing of agricultural resources, manufacturing of steel, textile, baking of bread etc. are examples of secondary activities. Tertiary activities act as a link between primary, secondary and quaternary activities and provide services. Some examples of tertiary activities are trade, transport, banking and insurance. Quaternary activity is a new and emerging field based on high-tech services including managerial services and knowledge-based activities. Some such examples are information technology and outsourcing. Favorable conditions for agriculture from the map of distribution of arable land, it will be observed that cultivation of crops is possible only in a limited area. It is therefore important to examine the factors which influence agricultural activity in the world. Many favorable conditions are necessary for the development of agriculture even today. These conditions can be divided into two broad groups, physical and human. Physical condition. Three chief physical conditions influencing agriculture are Climate. The climate exercises its influence on agriculture through factors like temperature, moisture, wind and light. Successful germination of seeds requires a certain temperature range which prevails in the beginning of agricultural season. Soil. Soil holds water and nutrients needed for plant growth. Relief. Relief refers to the land that projects from the flat ground below. Therefore, altitude, slope of land, and its orientation play an important role in tilling and cultivation of crops. High altitudes generally receive more precipitation but steep slopes of land may not favor agriculture. So, special types of farming may be practiced. Human factors influencing agriculture. These are also called social and economic factors or cultural factors. The ownership of land, farm size, mechanization and availability of power are important factors influencing the type of agriculture. Level of economic development is also an important factor influencing agriculture. There are human factors that have considerably influenced agriculture in the 20th century. In the developed countries, the size of farms is very big because population density is very low. They have also brought small scattered plots into one compact holding. Therefore, farmers are very rich. They carry on farming like any other business activity. Very few people are engaged in farming because machines are used for almost every activity. Arable land. The above favorable conditions relate to topography of land, soil, climate and relief. They are vital for agricultural activity for growing crops. The land on which crops are grown is known as an arable land. 
in the map of arable land. Given earlier, you will notice that agriculture is carried on only in certain parts of the world. However, 45% of world's population make their living through agriculture. The proportion varies from 2 to 4% in developed countries to about 60 to 80% in developing countries.